a little lunch with some coffee, working on the patio, getting things done, checking the weather report for tomorrow's long run in the mountains. There's whew, phone calls, phone calls, phone calls. All right, zipping into the office. But first, remember in yesterday's vlog, got some free stuff on the side of the road. Here it is, I'm gonna organize the car. Just pulling everything out, pulling everything out. I could really use a larger car at some point. That is a life goal. I've actually never purchased a new car, not saying I would, and that is the question of the day. Do you go the new car route because you know it's a brand new engine? Do you go the used car route if you do? Or do you just go really cheap and buy something for, you know, a thousand bucks and just run it into the ground and don't put any money into it? So that's like, what's your strategy with buying cars? Because it has been on my mind a little bit lately. I love this car, but in time, when it is the right time and we can afford it, I'd like to get a car that I research. I, um, I'm invested in and I, I really understand like why the type of car that I need based on space, gas mileage, ability to go off-road or drive in the city, safety, all these factors. So price. Um, anyway, in the meantime, making best use of the space I have in the back of the trunk. Here we go. Here's the organization. Camera equipment here. You got your gels for running over there running shoes in the back in here safety stuff so a sleeping bag an extra jacket ice scraper i'll add some more stuff to the safety stuff soon and this little tin <laughs> is empty but uh all this container action was free found it all on the side of the road yesterday just trying to make use of uh what's given to me <laughs> based on what people are throwing away in the neighborhood on the curb so all right into the office for a bit and then back Just wrapping up. Great meeting with Joe. Thank you, Joe, for coming into the office. All right, time to organize more batteries. You know the drill. It's all about organization today on the vlog, I guess. So, spray painting the batteries with a B with some gold spray paint just to distinguish from Joe and Harrison's batteries. And uh, in the filming world, you gotta have power. You gotta have power. All right, here we go. That'll do. That pig will run. That's from the movie Babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. In case you're wondering where that reference is, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Man, I haven't spray painted anything on the vlog in a long time, but when I spray painted this backpack over a year ago, um, people are commenting on that video a lot lately. I don't know what's going on. Go check it out, upper right hand corner. Old vlog when I spray painted this backpack. But, uh, all right. Time for a haircut. Okay. Haircut is done. Thank you, true love. What I'm about to do next is a little strange, but hear me out now. Hear me out. At CU, where I ran, most of the guys on the cross-country and track teams shaved their legs. Their entire legs. Why? Because you are often getting deep tissue massages, and you're also taping for injuries, and so when you have hair on your legs, you're ripping that tape off. Doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great. So. I'm suffering from a little bit of pain in my left foot right now. Nothing major, just a little bit. I'm on top of it, but I'm doing some really deep tissue massaging right now. So, <laughs> you know what's about to happen. I've actually already done it, but I'm going to just kind of clean it up a little. 